<sighs> Alright, this is the lighting and visual, visual, <laughs> visual test. It's a little crooked, but I think that's fine. This feels nice. This feels like a good setup. It just came. All right. This is mine. Bring this in. Ah. Oh, probably shouldn't leak that information. I'm gonna have to blur that. Turn this off. Oh yeah. Put this thing down real quick. Flip it like that so you can't see that. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay guys. Tis that day. Tis that day. Okay, um, I'm gonna set some stuff up real quick and then we can get right into it. Alright. I've never done anything like this. So here we go, I'm gonna turn this on so I can use this as a mic instead. Now, I guess I'm just going to record. Ah. Ha. Ah, ah. Okay, so I think I can leave this on the table and it'll be fine. Let me do some syncing up and putting this down. Ah. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, that's cool. Cool. So. Jeez. If you guys don't already know by the title, uh, this is an unboxing video. Uh, for the first time ever, I've ordered a pair of sneakers from StockX, and I thought, let's do an unboxing video, let's do a review, because apparently, I know StockX gets a lot of hate, but it also is more trusted than other places, so I'm going to just give my honest opinion. This is my first time ever unboxing from StockX, so I'm very excited. So, I ordered this last Friday, it is currently Thursday, so it took about six days to ship. That's pretty dope. That's very quick, I'm very excited. I'm um, very happy that it came in that fast. Usually it said between, like, the average is nine days. So three days beforehand, uh, before average is absolutely amazing. I'm very stoked by this. I'm actually, in like 30 minutes, I gotta go leave to go hang out with Finn. So I'm gonna try to do uh, this video kind of quick. But we got our box here, as you guys can see. I grabbed a pair of Nike Dunk red, uh, Low Retros. It's the uh, Bronzine, I think that's how you say it. Anyway. Uh, I got it in my size, size 10. I'm feeling dope, uh, dope, dope, uh, happy. So let's just get right into this. Let's do the unboxing. Uh, so it's, I've been wanting to get into sneakers for a while now. Never cut towards yourself, guys. But I've been wanting to get into uh, sneakers for a long time, but I never had the money. And so finally getting money to actually get a pair of sneakers is like the best feeling alive. And I'm only like 17, so it's not, it's not like I'm super old or anything, but oh my god you already know aiden's gonna have a fun time popping these i'm gonna save that for later because i genuinely genuinely will so it comes right in the box it's a pretty close fit so like no extra room just a very little so, so obviously there might be there's already some not damaging to the box but some bends which could be just from like throwing the boxes around which is totally fine or it could have been from the actual person who was selling it to me but how am i gonna take this out this uh, here it is I'll put the back that back to the side but here's the box it's pretty clean I there is a few bends but that could have just been from shipping totally fine no big deal for me but it's time to actually take a look at these sneakers I'll get you guys the first look I haven't looked at these yet forgot that stock X puts that tag in there I was literally watching a video about this okay so first before we look at the sneakers let's actually open this up 
So I've never ordered from them, so I don't know if they give it to the, you every time this thing, but whatever. So, 17 free meals. Uh, so this is HelloFresh. Uh, I'm very aware of this place. And a $100 wine voucher because I am 17 and legally able to drink. I don't know, but this is kind of cool. Uh, I might give this to my parents. Dope stuff. Gives you free stuff. That's really cool. Stock X stock basically like uh, sponsored by stuff. Uh, let's see. Good shop. Another thing, just like HelloFresh. Pretty dope. But let's actually get to the sneakers. So we're gonna open up the box, and I'm gonna try to move this back. There we go. And let's just. Ooh. Okay. So these are the bronzine, or whatever you want to say. Look at that. Got the StockX tag on it, so that's how you know it's a, it's real. But then again, people always say that it still could be a fake. So I'm just gonna do my. These are clean, man. These are a dope sneaker. If you can't, oh my, I think I have to turn down the brightness. Let me do this first. Here they are. Nike Dunk Low Retro Bronzines. Now it's still a little hard to see from the light. We're gonna get better videos of these, but low key, these are dope sneakers. I've been wanting a pair of Dunk Lows for a while now because I think they're really cool for skating. Obviously, I don't want to like do crazy tricks with these because I want to keep them fresh for as long as possible. Let's talk about the real thing here, the stock X tag. Most people want to just keep that on, I've heard. I kind of want to keep it on too, but I also want to take it off. Obviously, the laces are factory laced, so I can, I'm can. i probably going to undo it and just tie them regularly right because low key, that's just how I like how my sneakers are tied. Except for like my Air Forces or Jordans, I'll keep those loose laced. Like, here we go. Let me grab a pair of my Jordans right here. You can see they are loose laced, just like so. Nothing crazy about them, but I like to keep them loose laced. But for lows, I like to tie them. I got a pair of high top Air Forces, a pair of lows. I'm going to tie them up. But low key, these are really dope sneakers. I'm really excited to try them on, get some videos of it, and just like ride them around. So I don't know if I want to take off the stock X tag yet. Maybe I can just fold it in here for now. And so we can get some more cool videos of it. Cause I don't want it. I want to get some more videos with the stock X tag on because this is a stock X review. Now I'm going to just give my personal opinion, right? Opinion right now, anywhere, any like website you go on for sneakers, you could always get fakes. There will always be problems, but it's not guaranteed that you're going to have problems. So you always got to take that risk. And that's for any, every website. People order off Amazon and their boxes will become open and just like shipping isn't the best. So obviously you got to give these people credit there there's like a, a huge i got these from the new jersey uh, warehouse uh for stock x so they checked it there and so they have like a team i think of a thousand i don't know if it's all together a thousand or a thousand in just that one area but they have a bunch of people obviously they're getting a bunch of orders and they're not always able to keep up with t to every single sneaker so they might not catch all the fakes which is totally fine. I understand that. That's totally cool. But then again, that that brings a lot of hate to them. For those, let's say 1% that actually gets through, people, they're going to get hate for it. Everyone's going to get hate for it. Okay? So not everyone's perfect. So I, I completely understand if StockX gives you the wrong thing, if they give you a pair of fakes because they just their checkers just you know couldn't catch it. Totally cool. But obviously, some people are hating on it. I personally, right now, love it because they haven't done me wrong yet. But again, that can always change. That's just how life works. I'm not too too mad about it if something like that were to happen to me. Obviously, if it came with just one shoe, that would piss me off. But I always have an order, and I'm going to give them back. So, uh, my honest review right now, I'm very excited to actually throw these on my feet. If you guys can't tell, I kind of put the fit together for this exact sneaker today because I wanted to wear it and I wanted to put these shoes on immediately. Um, so let's get right into it. I'm going to go over to Finn's. We're going to probably take some extra videos and we're probably going to just have more fun. <laughs> okay. So for some reason, the video cut off, I don't know why, and I was very scared that all my footage would have been lost. So, but I'm at Finn's now, it's been like two, almost two hours now. 
since I recorded it. And obviously I still have them here. I wore them for a bit, went on a walk with them. They're a little creased. Obviously I put my uh, anti-creasers in there. I put my inserts in, but then I had to take it out of one shoe. So I basically have one shoe with and without. And you can tell, you can't, I'm gonna try to get pictures of it so it's much better. But this is the one I wore without, this is the one I wore with. Clearly it's it's more worn here, but low key, they're dope. I can obviously get them out with an iron, but these are really dope. I'm really excited by these. I have different uh, videos of them that I'm gonna just put in uh, with you guys. I still have the StockX tag on it, just in case I wanna still record videos, because this is mainly a StockX review. So, but yeah, very hyped. Um, I don't know what, really, what else to really say. Uh, I gotta work on the beat for this uh, this video because this video I don't know to put over it. I want to put a, I want to make a beat for Finn's currently upstairs making his one hour challenge. I just put my one hour challenge links in the description to our beats. I made ambient jerk. He's making neo orchestra or neo orchestral. Uh, so links to those songs in the description of this video. But I also gotta make a beat for this. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Uh, but you guys are already hearing the beat in this video the entire time. This is just what happens afterwards. Dope sneakers, really happy about this. Um, StockX, you did good on your part for me. That's all I can say.